Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to show you how to build this mining entrance in Minecraft. So here is our full materials list for the build. It's probably worth mentioning that some of these blocks may vary for you depending on where you're building and how you're choosing to build some of the different elements that make up this mine entrance, but that will all probably become clear as the tutorial progresses. So if you just grab most of what we have here, you're probably going to be all good. But we'll start off the top here with our spruce variants. All of these we are going to be using as well as our oak variants here. And then just below that we have some stone brick types as well as some ores. Of course you could grab some different ones of these if you maybe want to have some diamond or emerald, redstone maybe, that bit is up to you. We then have 33 dark oak logs and then some more miscellaneous items. I'm just going to scroll over here so you can see the name of them in case you don't know what they are just from the look. And then on this row we have some of the items that maybe are a little bit more tricky to get hold of in survival and you might not really need them for the build so maybe wait until we get to the point of the tutorial where we're going to be using these and you can decide on whether it's worth it so bring them along if you have them if not just have them on standby ready to collect if you want to and then last but not least we have some rail types here powered and regular as well as a minecart chest and the amount of these will vary but if you just grab this you're probably going to be fine but you may need to grab a little bit more or put some of them back. First things first, you're going to need to scout out a location to build this in. And if you'd like to use the same one as I am here, then the world seed as well as the coordinates are now on the screen. But pretty much all you're looking for is just something with a flat surface like this cliff face right here and a little bit of area around to do some building. It's nothing too specific. I'm sure you can find something like this in your survival world. So first things first, we're just going to come up to the cliff face and build the actual entrance to the mine. Everything else around it is really just decorative. So you may even want to just use this part of the tutorial. But we want to start off by placing down two dark oak logs five blocks apart, just up against the surface of the wall there. And we want to bring them up by three more blocks. So we have a total of four, just like that. We're then going to have two horizontal ones placed down like that, with an additional one coming off the front of them just like so and then lastly we're just going to have five horizontal logs going across from one side to the other. The next thing to do is actually just hop on top of this beam here and place down five barrels just like that so make sure they're either facing up or down and not on the side or not forward. You want the same texture to be showing out the front here. And once you've got that done, you can then underneath this far sided barrel, just have a slab either side and then one more in the middle. And then we're going to have a spruce trap door in the other two gaps and then a last one here in the center. You can then go ahead and place down two spruce stairs facing outwards on top of both of those horizontal logs pointing forward. We're then going to have two upside down ones just off the back of those. And then we're going to have a trap door in front of them as well as on top. So just make sure you're clicking on the front of the slab here and then on top of it. So it should look like this. This one is a little bit lower than the one on the left. And then lastly we're just going to have one, two and three slabs across the middle. We can then just quickly hop behind it here and we're virtually just going to bring this along by another block. So where we have a stair, we'll have another stair. Where we have slabs, we'll have another slab and then same with the trap doors. So when you're done, it should be looking like this for the moment. What we can then do is come around to the sides here and on this corner block we're going to have a regular stair with an upside down one out the front of it just like this. We can then go ahead and place a spruce trap door underneath that back stair. And then we can just swing around here and do the same again. So two stairs and a trap door. We can also go ahead and place down two oak buttons in front of our horizontal logs. And then we can grab a few more logs and we're going to place four of them down like this. So just in front of and to the side of the pillar where on top of them we can have some spruce fences. Or not fences, <laughs> those are stairs. You want some spruce stairs on top of those. 
so now might be a good idea to grab some stone and just shape the terrain behind our entrance way, especially if you have something like this. We kind of want to make it look natural, so all I'd say is just make sure you keep the blocks above those blocks we have placed down, obviously filling in the one behind it so we kind of get a bit more of a natural look instead of just a missing gap in the terrain. You may have to fiddle with this for a while till you get something you're happy with. I'm sure I will right now, <laughs> but you get the idea. You just want to fill in the blocks behind it. And once you got all of that done and you are happy with how it looks, we can then come back down here to our entrance way and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this 4x5 rectangle and break all of those blocks. We're then going to have three strip spruce logs just along the top like that and then we're just going to have four on the corners here to make this archway back by a block as you can see just adding a little bit of depth there but we're going to have some spruce stairs on the corners of those blocks with a spruce trap door in the middle and then two more on the sides just like that folded upwards so we got another archway which once again adds even more depth <laughs> we can go ahead and break these nine blocks and on the outside we're just going to have six stone bricks and then an upside down stone brick stair in the middle and this is where we can place our door way so just do it as I've done there and you should have it on the back of the block instead of at the front like this so it should be looking like this for the moment what we can then do very lastly is just have two stone brick walls on either corner right there with one two and three oak fences above it and then three oak fence gates along the top and so the final thing to do for the entrance way here is just very simply add two hanging upside down grindstones from our pillars there. Not exactly sure what they're meant to be, but I kind of like the look of them on the mine entrance. So now we're just going to go around adding in a few more decorative pieces. Of course, if this is all you came for, you're welcome. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. But if you want a few more pieces added on, then follow along. The first one is going to be a bit of a crafting barrel stack. And we're just going to put that over here to the right of the entrance way. Of course, the location of it may differ for you if you're not building in the same spot. But basically, we just want to make a stack of barrels so maybe just five of them something like that except we don't really want them all facing the same way we, we want to add some variation in the direction so maybe a couple of them we just place them on the side like that makes it look a little bit better that way we're also going to just stick a crafting table next to it somewhere as well as a stone cutter and a lantern somewhere just to light up the area a little bit and then lastly i'm just going to add a few campfires i think on those spots should be good and i'm going to extinguish them and it kind of just looks like pieces of stacked up wood that probably would be helpful somewhere in a mining excursion to the left of our mining entrance we are going to place down some tnt which you may not want to do and i wouldn't blame you honestly placing an explosive right next to a very nice build here maybe isn't the wisest or safest things to do but I do think it looks kind of cool, especially if you can get your hands on some red candles. And if you just place a few of these down, they kind of look like sticks of dynamite, <laughs> which I actually really like. So, yeah, if you can just place a few of them down like so, I've maybe gone a bit overkill there, but you get the idea. It just makes it look like you're ready to bring some of your dynamite and TNT down into the mines and do some explodification. But as I said, if you want to you know, skip on this part, maybe place some more barrels in replace of them I wouldn't blame you but on the other hand if you really want to live dangerously you can get some minecart TNTs involved but if you don't know what you're doing these things are incredibly unpredictable so you know try not to blow everything up so if your area is a tool like mine and you have some unused space on the cliff face like I do over here, then this next thing is going to be something that's going to add a little bit of life to your mine and I think it's a really cool addition to make. So if you do have some space on the cliff face, then just break out a 3x3 three three square just like I've done. If you don't have any more space, by the way, I'm sure you could fit this in somewhere. You just have to pick out a good spot for it. But at the bottom block, we're going to place down a spruce plank with two spruce stairs either side of it and two upside down ones here in the corner we're going to put a trap door there across the top and two more on the sides so pretty much what we're doing here is we're going to make a rail that would in theory or it actually could practically if you do have you know an actual mine down there 
A mine cart that could go all the way down to the bottom of the mine, pick up resources and bring it back to the top. So we got the little entrance here with the mine cart rail going through. If we just place a couple of blocks there temporarily for now and we bring it on out to, let's say, this spot where we can have a little bit of a station to start stop it. Maybe something a bit like this with a lever to turn it on. And this is just a fun little touch that I like to do because when you turn on the powered rail, the bell also dings <laughs> to let you know the minecart is on the way or something like that. It's just fun little things like that that can add some life to your build. So as far as what to do with this rail is concerned, as I said, you could actually link it up to your mineshaft down at the bottom of the world. It's Y11, 5, 15, 25, 3761, whatever the right Y level is for diamonds nowadays. I don't know. <laughs> but you go down there and link it up and it would be super duper realistic and pretty cool, honestly. But if that seems like a lot of effort, which it kind of is, especially if you're not really going to utilize this feature, I'd recommend just making a faux rail, something to create the illusion that the minecart is actually going somewhere. So as you can see, that's kind of what I've done here. Just brought the rail down, dug quite a few blocks back. Obviously, the further you go, the longer the minecart chest will be away from. But yeah, if you want to make it seem like it's gone for a real long time, you're going to need a longer rail than that. But just make sure you fill in some of the blocks here, going careful that you don't block the minecart's path. So you can just test it by placing down the minecart chest, turning on the lever, we get the bell dings and you saw it go down and in a minute or hopefully very quickly it should be coming back up to the surface just like that and it's just going to keep going back and forth back and forth adding in some life and some movement to the build which I think is a great thing and of course if it gets on your nerves you can always flick the lever just missed it there but it will stop on the powered rail so the idea is that minecart chest is meant to be bringing up resources found down in the mines ores and that sort of thing so we're going to need something to take the resources from point A to a point B somewhere else we're going to make like a pile of ores over here and we're going to do that via a crane. So we're going to build one just next to the TNT stack and fairly near our railing system. So I'm just going to start off by placing down six dark oak logs directly upwards. So there's one, two and three, four, five and six. And then we're going to surround the bottom log here with four more logs. And we're going to have a spruce stair on top of all of those just like that. We can then come up to the top here and we're going to place a barrel down with a spruce slab on top of it. And then we're going to surround this top log, so not the barrel, the log block, with four trap doors, just like so. And then we can actually make a little bit of a uh, lever here, just by placing down a lever. And this is maybe to control the crane and sort of figure out what it does. I don't know, got to use your imagination a little bit, right? And then we're going to make the actual crane part of it itself here. So we'll start off with a spruce stair just against the barrel and then come out by three spruce slabs just like that. And then we can have a grindstone on this block upside down similar to what we've got over here. And then with two chains just below it. And there we go. It's a vibe. I'm not sure if any of you would have got that. Hopefully some of you did. But either way, I'm sorry. So of course our crane is going to need to carry some ores so we're just going to stick an ore on the bottom of the chains there and beside it we're going to make a bit of an ore pile so as you can see i've kind of just shoved together a bunch of coal blocks to make the best looking pile i could at a somewhat small scale we didn't really want this thing being too massive otherwise it's just going to block the view of the mine but yeah this kind of gets it away from the minecart over there and just puts it somewhere else ready to be taken off and smelted and turned into other things Things, but obviously you can't really smelt coal so we need some other ores involved too so I'm gonna just use iron gold and coal here so just go around and you know put in a few extra blocks so it's not all just one type of ore and there we go that is a nice little ore stack with a crane just beside it just one last final tiny change that I probably don't even need to mention but I will because I think it looks slightly better and that is placing the grindstone not facing this way but instead that way. I don't know why, I just think it improves the look of the crane. So there we go everybody, that is the tutorial for the mine entrance all done. I really hope this has helped you out and that you enjoyed watching, thank you ever so much for doing that and I will see you next time. Bye for now.